is a fishing simulation. Think about that for a second. A, f a fishing simulation. I and look, I don't know if any of you guys have ever been fishing, but what it basically boils down to is watching something float on the water for a few hours and hoping something else happens. That's fishing. Hoping something else happens. And to simulate that, what you're, what you're really saying is, let's simulate waiting. This is a waiting simulator. And waiting, and waiting. It's super black bass! And waiting, and waiting! Derek, and yes, as you can probably tell, my voice is still shot from the NXT show. We can all thank Sasha Banks, because she's the boss of destroying my voice. And this is, no joke, one of the most realistic fishing games I've ever played. Realistic in the sense that the whole thing is just a test of the limits of human patience. It's about seeing how much of your life you're willing to just watch spiral down the drain as you try to catch electronic bass in an electronic lake. It's an entire game about sitting on a pretend lake, which is ironic for a game this dry. I mean, go, go sit on a real lake, you know? At least that's fun. Fishing is fun when you're actually there, but it's also one of those things that's where it's like, you know, if you try to explain fishing to someone, it never sounds as much fun as it actually was. What'd you do today? Oh, I skipped work, sat on the boat all day. And, nope, well, that's it. Just, just kind of sat there. And see, that's Super Black Bass. It's more like the explanation than actually being there. That's all very subjective. You know, I find this game ruthlessly boring. You literally sit there for hours and wait for your rod to move. Phrasing, not my idea of a good time. But hey, maybe it, maybe it is yours. And look, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> come on, come on, that was good. You gotta at least give me that. And that brings us to the objective part of Super Black Bass. See, regardless of your opinion on fishing games, this is a great one. You can't really deny that. It's ultra realistic, probably even to a fault. But look, if you want a realistic fishing game on your Super Nintendo that's actually realistic and it's it's slow and challenging and slow, it's all just very slow, well, what you really want is Super Black Bass. What you don't want are bluegills. They're like the dandelion of fish. So to me, the main thing about Super Black Bass, the thing that defines it, is that pace that we were talking about. I mean, actually catching a fish in this game, the right fish, it takes a lot of time and even more patience. You have to find the fish on the lake. Oh, and by the way, they're in different places at different times of day and in different weather. So just just finding them, th just that takes time. And once you do that, you gotta pick a lure from the freaking ton of lures that you have, and then you get then you have to cast. And what and that's when things really get difficult because each lure has to be moved in a certain way to attract certain fish. And, uh, if, if all this actually sounds like real fishing, that's because it basically is. This is a game that doesn't just reward patience, it demands patience. Otherwise, you're, you're up the creek without a paddle. Alright, maybe I should scale it back, right? Reel it in with the fish talk. I mean, if it, look, if it's bothering you, just let me know. I mean, look, it is what it is. Objectively great at what it is. Subjectively dependent on your patience, you know. But it really is a great fishing game. And that carries over to the presentation, too. All the locations look really nice. You know, you can actually see the lake beds through the water. At least when the water's clear, like on a sunny day. And I love the changes in weather, too. Like, as the day goes on, things start to look different. And that's a really nice touch. And I guess, on the other hand, I kind of wish the fish animated a little better. Uh which sounds really nitpicky. And the sound is mostly just ambient, natural noise, which is about as good as you'd expect ambient, natural noise to be in a 16-bit game. So, again, it's kind of a mixed bag in terms of presentation, but the good parts are really good, and the bad parts are, like I said, it's all just, it's kind of nitpicky. Look, this is just, it's a very well-done fishing game. You can tell the development went quite swimmingly. I mean, in some areas it flounders a bit, but... Look, I'm sorry, but the game keeps baiting me. 
All right, that one was for the halibut. Thanks to Rob from Easley, South Carolina, for sending this to the show. It's Super Black Bass for the Super NES. It's a great fishing game if you like fishing. If you don't, it's it's kind of crappy. Crappy is actually kind of fish, and if you know that, then you'll like this game. If you don't, it's probably for salmon else.